is it going? Good, how are you Oh guys? my gosh, fine. Hi. Hey. Wow. Nice <laughs> So what's your favorite part about bowling? Um, I don't really... It's just everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like I know um, when I'm off the ice for a little bit, like I'll just crave the ice. Like just like, I need it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, what would you say your style of play is like? Do you stand up a lot, butterfly a lot? I butterfly a lot. Yeah, so you like move it, like, yeah, that's fine. What pads do you have right now? What company? Um, Frontier. Oh, Frontier? Yeah. Nice. How do you like those? They're good, but they are a little too small now. Yeah, for sure. So, it's going to be good. We're going to get some good training in. I'm going to show you some workouts that you can do, and then hopefully uh, they fit in some, some perfect pads. Have you done any training before? Time bit? I will have some fun with it. Maybe do a little competition. Maybe put up a competition with Mikel here, right? You can beat him, eh? I used to train Mikel, but he's quick, though. He's fast. He's real fast. I'm excited for this one. This one has like super eyes. You can be, you can tell you can stop anything, eh? Hey. Hey. Oh man, she's ready to go today. Here's a little goodie bag. Here. You can open that up if you want. Okay. There you got some Sunny Isles. That's my company. So you can rock that. You probably heard of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that little one is from me. And I want you to open that up. You're so pretty. Well, that's to remind you that no stars shine the same and you're always the star. Even when you feel dark, right? In the darkest hours, yeah. that's when the stars shine the brightest. So always remember that, okay? okay. Even when things seem really hard. You promise? Yeah. And Mikel has a little bracelet in there, you're gonna put it on her? Yeah, so... Uh, Inside your little story? Yeah, so that bracelet, you need, uh, it has one wing on it and it symbolizes one of us will always be wearing it. And you... have <laughs> one on right now too. Yeah, you need two wings to fly, so you always have some one of us here for you. We'll always have your back no matter what. Thanks. Awesome. Uh, this is just another shirt from uh, my goalie trainer. So did you guys uh, discuss what Vitalia is doing here today? Gone over a little bit, but there's still going to be some surprises. There's still going to be some surprises, yeah? yeah. The one person we don't have right now is Mikel's or Nikos. The two most important ones. This is, um, we got a couple guys that train right there from Bronson area. So we got Corey Conacher who played with Tampa Bay and uh, Justin Scott who plays in the AHL. Um, we also have Corey Lock. He's actually been, uh, he's on the coach, he's a uh, coach now, but he played in the AHL and NHL for a long time. And two people um, that are not here up on the walls, Nico Dodds, who was uh, Team Canada World Junior goalie as well this past year. Um, and we actually have a, a, lot of, a lot of goalies that train here as well, too, that are from this area that play Division One hockey. And we have people like Mikel going up uh, in the ranks and, and getting that every year. So that's, I uh, know it's a lot of fun. They have a lot of fun. They, they train hard. They're in here about four days a week. Um, they're hitting everything from like nutrition and they really take care of themselves to kind of yeah. get spent so for sure, for sure. Mr. Doug Gilmore, the former captain of the Maple Leafs and many, many other teams, <laughs> our Hockey Hall of Famer and my own personal hero that I'm standing a little too close to right now, but it's like a magnet because he's very cool and he's here just to see you today. So he arrived just as a very special phone call came in for you. I am going to put this incredible woman on speakerphone for you, Talia. And there is a message from Black Girls Hockey in the United States, and I'm going to have you listen to it. So please go ahead, and here is Miss Talia Rose for you, okay? Hi, Talia Rose, this is Renee Hess from the Black Girl Hockey Club. How are you doing today? I'm good. Are you having a good time with these guys, Mikkel? Yes. Oh good, I'm so glad to hear that. Well, I wanted to let you, and your mom, is Michelle there, your mom? I just wanted to let you know that Black Girl Hockey Club is so proud of what you are doing. We're so excited to see you working so hard as a Here's her mom. for your team. And we wanted to do something that would hopefully help you excel in your hockey in the next season. So Black Girl Hockey Club, it wants to offer
Thank you so much. This means so much to our family and our community. <laughs> I just want to thank you all for, you know, choosing us and taking the chance and working with us. And we won't let you down. We're going to work hard. You're going to do I this. Know. You know, know that you will. will. You're going to. You're going to so do this. And Kiana has a couple of black girl hockey. Amazing, and we will keep in touch with you guys. And Kiana, she is coming. She is the first female scout from the Erie Otters for the OHL, wow. and she'll be following you. And Errol has been standing in the background right here. He runs Avenue Sports Management. Hi. And any questions that you have about sports, getting ahead, he works with Kiana as well. So they will guide you and help you in the right direction. And trust me, this is the best place to train here with Shield and Brandon. So you're in good hands. Okay. Thank you so thank you. much. We will send you. Yeah, thank you. For, thank you for letting me be part of this. Yeah. Thank you so oh, yeah. much. This is going to be uh, awesome for Talia, and thank you so much for helping uh, make this day happen. Yeah, Mikhail. You know what? You are doing amazing. Thank you so much. We didn't want you to miss everything. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Wow. I'm still like, did I really hear that correctly? Yeah. Wow, that's so incredible. Here's, here's the little video. Wow. Hi, Talia Rose and hello, Michelle. My name is Renee Hess and I'm the founder and executive director of the Black Girl Hockey Club. Today, I'm very excited to announce Talia Rose, you will be the very first recipient of the Black Girl Hockey Club Seasonal Scholarship. We're going to be gifting you $5,000 to use today for goalie equipment and throughout the rest of the hockey season. Talia Rose, you are such a hard worker, a team player, and an excellent example of what the Black Girl Hockey Club wants to do in hockey culture, which is to amplify black voices and to give little girls like you a chance to grow up and enjoy the game of hockey. Thank you so much to Mikhail and to Lisette for your goalie giveaway and for allowing Black Girl Hockey Club to work with you on this project. Kiana Scott, Thank you so much for introducing us to Lisette and to Talia Rose and Michelle. Talia Rose, congratulations. Good luck in your hockey season. And we look forward to seeing you hopefully someday soon at a Black Girl Hockey Club get together.
There you Thank have you. it. Wow. Thank you so much. So, <laughs> that's incredible. I say we haven't even started yet. We're starting at 12:30, right? So I think we're doing pretty good this This is morning. great. <laughs> this is there. incredible. Thank that's you awesome, so guys. much. Thank this you is so great. much. We can Absolutely. Get, we can get us. So I started this initiative last year. I grew up uh, not as fortunate, not being able to afford hockey pads. So I actually had to save up my own money, and I bought my own set of hockey pads on Kijiji. I just know how uh, difficult financially it is to play goalie and I know how much it means to someone to be a goalie and how much it really does to someone so I just want to spread the love of the game and make sure everyone is accessible to be able to play the game that I love. Last year we uh, gave away a pair of goalie pads and got, got to uh, run the day like this but this is the first year that I've actually got to We've got a big scholarship from uh, Black Hills Hockey, so that's pretty uh, amazing. So the scholarship entitles that it will help her get through training, because training sessions for goalie is very expensive uh, to do the private training, which is very important to uh, goalie's game. It's very technical. So this will help go towards training, equipment as well, and everything uh, goalie does. As a young goalie, it would have uh, really flourished my game. I know my parents did everything and sacrificed so much for me. And having this low support and just giving back would really help, would have helped me. But I might be that now that I'm fortunate enough to, uh, right now I'm fortunate enough and in a situation where I can help others. And I'm truly grateful for that. Talia's story really stuck with me. I, I don't think anyone should be picked on or discriminated against. I think it's just horrible. And I uh, brought a tear to my eye and I just couldn't stand and let someone be brought down who has such a kind soul. So I thought uh, Talia would be an amazing recipient and I think she was very well deserving of uh, receiving the scholarship and receiving the new goalie pass. So we're going after to the store to uh, do Source for Sports and she's going to get fitted for a new pair of goalie pads and uh, get some new equipment. I'm so happy you're here and you're walking! Oh my god! Yeah. How's your yeah. wheelchair? Oh, I don't use it anymore. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Hey brother, you did this! Yeah. I'm so proud of you! I'm going to cry! Look how great you're doing. Henry. Michelle, have you met Henry? No, I haven't. No, oh, I know I keep screaming. Yeah, you'll never get used to that. Never. Um, I know that you follow the Angel Project. Yes, I do. So I saw this is Henry. Yeah. Henry. I've seen a couple pictures. He, <laughs> yeah, just he has a now become our official ambassador. That's fantastic. So he That's spent years in the hospital after a heart transplant. Yep. Okay. And you had a uh, bionic heart, didn't you, for a while? Yeah, I had a mechanical heart for a couple months. Yeah. Got, in, got in October and then it didn't. Okay. Actually made it worse. Yeah. So oh, January really? 31st. Okay. I got in heart. And his wife is amazing. Had two young kids at home. Yeah. And yeah and worked and looked after them and was always there with Henry. Yeah. Came to Toronto every day. And uh, Mika saw that, traffic. <laughs> saw that, you know, they needed a ramp and a yep. chair lift. And so he took to his Twitter like he likes to do. Yep. No. And he was like, I have been, he, I have spent Christmas in the hospital and I yep. have been in the hospital for so long. I think yep. he couldn't take it. You know that a child would be without their yeah. without like their parents, parents with like their families. family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he couldn't take it that you know it took him 24 hours to get the money, and there we were. We showed up at the hospital, and Henry got home. That's the day he changed my life. It changed yeah, his really life, fun. and now here he is back. Yeah, and it's a full circle story because okay. a year goes by. Yeah, and. Uh, Henry got to have kids with his family. Okay. And they got to get caught up on their bills and because everything, you know, we have one yes. person in the hospital, everything yeah, catches up. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And we got a private donor to help out a little bit over the holidays to pay off some of the bills so they can start off fresh. Nice. Henry starts his own business making pens for patients that he makes in his garage. Pens for patients. I thought it was catchy coming up with it. And he brought us a check last week for $1,300. So talk about coming full circle. I'm on 147 from that. Right? And I've done 75 under that. This is what makes us so proud of what we do when things can. People become ambassadors, you know? Like we have another young man who 
grew up volunteering at our angel tournament, okay. and he's an ambassador breaking loose, like he's got his student doing his own projects, yeah. right? Yeah. And we're supporting him doing so this. Over there? Yeah. Mika has started this on his own, then. you know what I That's mean? That's incredible, yes. So everyone has their own. So, Talia, Errol, the big sports management guy. Yes, sir. <laughs> he's got uh, a little something for you, too. So on behalf of Avenue Sports Management, we want to make our first female hockey player as part of our management company. So we'd like to be your advisor, be your agent, and help you through all the steps through hockey, and help you go from team to team, your training, tournaments, everything you go through, and we'll be there for you as guidance and help you all along the way. So we'd like to present you with our first Avenue Goalie. It looks small because you have your stuff on, but it, 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 it'll fit. That's awesome. Ready for me to take you? with just learning how to skate but sadly I fractured my arm from that so I just begged my parents to start just great going straight into hockey they said yes and my team at the time didn't have a goalie so I stepped up and I said yes to being the goalie um just everything it's 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 so magical and fun it's it's hard to explain because it's such a good feeling um it all started off in grade, in grade three. Um, I got, I had this bully, and he bullied me all the time and picked on my friends. That made me really sad. And one day we were just trying to have fun outside and stuff, and he came up to me and twisted my arm, and that caused my arm to be fractured. Then a couple months after that, going into summer, he hit my head against the stone and I almost got a concussion, but I'm glad I didn't. Um, sometimes some of my classmates would make me fun of that. Um, but it wasn't that big of a problem because I just rubbed it off. It's really cool. I'm very thankful to be here today. And overall, it's been amazing so far. I'm actually really excited for that because I just found out that my pads are actually too small, so I'm really excited to get a new pair of pads. I'm very fortunate. We probably had to have to wait a couple of other months, or maybe gosh, probably a while, till I could get new pads. What would you like to say to that gentleman over there? He plays for the uh, Peterborough Peets. He's out here. Kind of showing you, showing you some tricks, and he's he's kind of the, the guy behind this whole project that got you. Well, he's going to get you new pads. What would you like to say to him? Um, all I want to say is thank you. I'm really thankful to be here, and I'm really glad you chose. Anytime you can get some hockey equipment, it's a good day. So you're a London Devilette. Yep. I used to play against them when I was a kid. You having fun with this guy? Yeah. You teaching him a few things? <laughs> couple things. Did you want to take a look at this? So that's the Vancouver Olympic medal. Since I brought it out for you to see today. Just you never know, right? You work hard and lots of possibilities for sure. She's been really good. I can see her one day winning one of those. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So you're gonna yeah. be the next one with a ring like that, right? So, yeah. You I never think know. so. I think yeah. you got a lot of people that can inspire you and hopefully today has inspired you already to break out on your own and to maybe give back to the community and help others to give back as well. So that's what we hope to do with the Angel Project, to 
bring up young people with a lot of love yeah. right and then hopefully they find that love within themselves and they realize that it's so much better to give than to receive and to help others and i know that you already have such a beautiful heart and now you can start giving to others even if it's a compliment or a card or a, a thank you or you look pretty or you are kind something like that just to make somebody stay a little better and it doesn't have to be as elaborate as today has been but we hope today has been special even though we're just getting started believe it or not you're like i've never had this much attention you know what you very first female scout for the air yachters a female scout how cool is that so you don't just have to play goalie you can be gone you can be a scout you can be an advisor there's so many career paths and she drove two hours just to meet with you and she's also the very talented young lady that hooked you hooked us all up or hooked me again up first with black girl hockey to make sure that you got the scholarship and she has uh, just a token of appreciation from them yes as renee well. wanted me to give this to you and, and renee's your mom has one as well that's the lady that we saw in the video then when you got the scholarship okay what do you say sweetie? thanks <laughs> isn't that special and kiana i can't believe like two hours and i know we said we were going to start at one o'clock and and we started early so but uh, i'm so glad that you're here anyway we still have lots more stuff to do so Perfect. thank you are you guys from london yeah, yeah. cool thank you oh you got the shoes ready to train those are nice nice right there yeah. <laughs> all purpose, all purpose. Let's bring her on in. Come on up. Right now we're at Duke's Horse for Sports. We're going to get Talia fitted up with uh, some new pads. The best uh, goalie and hockey store down in uh, the GTA. I'm Braden, nice to meet you, and uh, so we'll get you all set up in the goal room to get uh, everything tried on, okay? You're gonna feel very weird, there's a few tracks. It's a big adjustment going from a 28 okay. to a 31, it's gonna feel a lot bigger yeah. until you yep. get it on the ice. Okay. How's the arms feel? Big? Yeah. <laughs> little bird, I can't fly. Yeah. Uh -huh. You've been a trooper, but you know what? We're going to go have pizza after. Oh, yeah. awesome. And lots of cold see. drinks. So, do you have everything you need, sweetheart? Does yes. she have everything she needs? Yeah, I, I, yes, more yeah. than that, like amazing. Thank you. It's Are you been sure? Incredible. Okay. Yeah, I can't honestly think of anything well, else. Yeah, thanks, thanks, everybody. So Thank you, Mika, right. for making this happen. Yeah, Black Girl Talkie, Duke. It's been a wonderful day, and now we're heading to Boston Pizza! Woohoo! Oh, this is. Oh my god! Okay. Holy smokes! Wow. What is this? That's pretty cool. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, look at that shirt! That's amazing. Wow.
don't play hockey like you can't play hockey. Look at old Tally Rose says, the kids are young, and it's just called a goalie. She says the love of being in that keeps her going. It's so magical. It's hard to explain. It's just a kind of thing. Much, you oh guys. Oh my god. This I day has two. been amazing. Like, wow. Thank what you so day. much for everything. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm so proud of you guys. I love you, my son. I'm so proud of you for doing yeah. this. I'm yeah. so proud of you. Yeah. I love you. And good on amazing Natalia job. Rose. Thank You're going to you. do amazing Thank things. You. And with the contacts you made today, the whole hockey community has you in the biggest embrace and they will lift you up and take you anywhere you want to go. The world is yours. All you have to do is work hard, hard, hard and practice. Okay, just work a little bit harder than the person next to you and you got this girl.